Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here, another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if Windows Hello is preventing some options from showing up. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So if you're having a problem with authorizing your PIN login, we're going to jump into it, and we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. Just left click on the Start button one time. In the start menu, you want to type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. So best match to come back to regedit, right click on it, and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now you want to navigate on the left side by either double clicking or left clicking on the little arrow next to HKEY local machine. Do the same thing now for the software folder, so expand that. You can also make this bar a little wider here too so we can just drag that so we can see where we're going. So again we did H key local machine and then software. Now we're going to go down and do the same thing for policies. So we're going to expand that. Expand the Microsoft folder now. Expand Windows. And now you want to just go ahead and left click on the system folder. So just left click on that one time. Now in the right side here you want to go ahead in a blanket area right click once left click on new and then left click on D word and then parentheses 32 bit value now you want to name this value allow so capital allow domain all one word here so allow capital domain capital D pen capital P I N and then you want to type in log on all one word so capital L O G O N so again, allow, domain, pin, log on, exactly it appears on my screen, and the A in allow, the D in domain, all of the word pin, and the L in log on are all capital. So once you're done with that, click out of it to save it. Double click on it now. Underneath value data, you want to set this to 1. So just delete the value data in here, set it to number 1, left click on OK. And just so you guys are aware, we don't really have to make a backup of our registry in this case. It's not really that complicated what we're doing here. You can always just go back in the registry and you see exactly where we created this file. You can always go back in and just delete it if you made a mistake or something. It's really not the end of the world. It really shouldn't do that much. I mean, let's just be realistic here. We're, no, we're really not modifying too much. So if you want to make a backup, you're more than welcome to, but you don't really probably have to. I don't really see a big need in it for this kind of tutorial. Again, because we're really only affecting one registry entry here, and you're more than welcome to just delete it at a later time if you need to. But anyway, uh, once you close out of here, we would suggest restoring your computer, and hopefully that has resolved the problem. Now, if you are running Windows 10 Professional or higher editions, you, we can do a local group policy method as well. And I would implore you guys to check that out as well. It might be a little more straightforward. So we're going to jump into that one too, and that would be to open up the start menu, type in local group policy, best match to come back with edit group policy, left click on that one time. Okay, so once the group policy is open here, you want to go ahead underneath the computer configuration section and then expand administrative templates. Again, underneath the top section, keep in mind there's two administrative template folders. So you want to again expand it underneath the computer configuration section. And once you're done expanding administrative templates, you want to expand system and then go down and left click on log on. Once you're over there you want to go and look for something that says turn on convenience pin sign on. So it should be very close to the top here so again turn on convenience pin sign in. Double click on that. I said sign on, sign in. It should be the same thing. I hope you guys aren't getting lost by that. It should be the second one from the top. At least in my version of Windows should be pretty similar in your guys as well. So again just double click on that. 
while this is loading again if you're not seeing this you have more than likely expanded the wrong folder back at the earlier step I told you guys to make sure you expand the right one I can't help that I mean go back and watch the video again if you are not seeing this there's always one or two people that don't seem to get that but uh, once you're on the screen this is turn on convenience pin sign in you want to select enabled and then left click on apply and OK save the change restart your computer and that should be about it so I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out and as always thank you for watching and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye